we got to get back to this is the Joe Budden report here with your boy D friend. I know you ain't keep talking about Joe Budden, but I don't give a fuck. This is the industry. This is the biggest hip hop music podcast that is falling. And you got to wait for the sprinkles of the members to respond one by one by one. And all you motherfuckers who commented on my Rory clip yesterday, you're late. You did talk. I don't give a fuck. This is a daily show. The shit go on after I already reported on it. I ain't going back to make a solo video on it the next day. So anyways, Ma has responded now. And I'm going to read some of his hottest takes from his little Twitter, Twitter rant, Twitter storm that he said about the situation, his stuff. So anyways, Ma, the lies are always loud. The truth is always quiet, I promise you. I've been cool and quiet for too long. I'm allowed to get out of character for at least an hour, maybe 40 minutes. The truth is usually short and simple. Then somebody said, we are, quotations, we are a team, we are family. We're building something together. I guess like trying to say like, that's how Joe was. And then, when the bags are empty, that's when the bags are empty. You're all on that family. We shit. We love each other. Let's build each other. Then it's none of your business when the bags are full. I've been there, man. Your best days are yet to come. Thank you for all the laughs over the years. And then Ma said, man, listen, smart people know what's going on. So essentially, Ma saying Joe's a liar. Like I said, they would say he's throwing sauce on it a little bit because like I said, it's easy to go with Joe because Joe is an amazing speaker. He's a good, he runs around a little bit. But that's how amazing speakers do. They run you around in circles. You're like, all right, fuck it. Right, whatever you say is whatever you say. But once again, like on the mall and Rory tip, it's like, what? Like I said, if the plan isn't media, if the plan isn't media, then fine. But if the plan is to create your own media entity, your own podcast, whatever, why are you wasting time tweeting about shit? And they didn't even say nothing. Like you said, I'm allowed to get out of character. Y'all will know soon. Da, 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 da. They didn't even say shit. Maybe they're cooking something up. Maybe they have a hot take coming soon. Maybe him and Roy are going to do like a little weird sit down where they like cut the light on. It's like there's an empty couch and then like someone cuts the light on. And then they walk in the frame. They sit down. And it's like, huh. now I'm about to tell you what's going on. And then they do their whole like YouTube explanation and apology video but like i said people fuck with them i know people i know it's cool like uh rory and ma they're bums or this or that people fuck with them people want to hear what they got to say you see people every day that have like semi uh big podcasts that don't have the following or the love that these guys have so i'm not, I, i'm not one of the people who don't think they can't create something and make it sustainable i don't think it'll be big as joe budden's podcast but to say they can't make anything that's sustainable, I don't think that that is a fair or correct assessment. But I did make the the, the correlation that before Maul started tweeting, he was at 155,000 155, followers. Once he commenced tweeting, and then the next day when I pulled these tweets from his Twitter, he had gained an additional 5,000. Now, of course, that's, oh, it's the drama. Of course, they're going to get the views because the drama is happening right now. But I'd be remiss to say that if they could do something like little sit-down interviews that people would not be interested. If they could bring on interesting people and have interesting conversation, people will listen. Because let me tell you something. People have a lot of time in the day. A lot of people are at work. And a lot of people listen, uh, looking for shit to listen to. So if you can create interesting conversations with a guest, it really doesn't matter who you are. As long as you're interesting, as long as your guest is interesting, then you will be fine. I believe they will be fine all in all. So that is The Daily Joe Budden update from the podcast. So, 